revival of Beat X. Yes? I'm Professor Takamiya. What can I do for you? We need you in the auditorium now. You're on next. Well, they'll have to wait. I'm meeting someone. Now, who would that be? I'm supposed to be meeting my brother here in the main square, but he's running late. Now, of course. It's been almost five years since you've seen each other. Longer. And this place is so big, I'm sure he's lost somewhere. Anyway, just tell them I'll be a few minutes. I can't. Your theory on the ascension of molecular robotics has attracted the attention of the entire world. There are 10,000 people waiting in that auditorium for you. And as assistant stage manager, it's my job to make sure that you're on that stage when they get to your introduction. Are you Professor Takamiya? I was sent from the Mechatopia office. I will escort you to the auditorium. Please follow me. Excuse me, but that's a strange perfume you're wearing. Pardon me? Is that machine oil I smell on you? A job hazard. I work with machines all day long. No. The oil smells like it's coming from inside your body. Freeze! <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Get back! She's a robot! She'll kill us all! I see now why everyone calls you a boy genius, Professor Takamiya. I'm surprised you could tell I wasn't human. But still, you couldn't tell that I was sent by the Machine Empire. What? But why? I'm no threat. <laughs> you have a choice to make. Either come with me or I take your head. You're smart. You should know I'm not lying. Please! Don't kill him! <laughs> The more you resist, the deeper it will gouge into your flesh. <laughs> I really hate it when machines push people around. Well, don't I get a thanks? Tepe, you made it! Huh? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Been a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're all grown up. You too. Looks like you're actually taller than me now. And you might be the smartest scientist in the world, but you'll always be my big brother. Well, now that you've saved my neck, what do you say you show me how you pulled it off? Look, this weapon's called the Messiah Fist. It can tear through just about anything. Busting up robots is just one of its tricks. You should see what else it can do. Besides this, what else were you up to while I was away studying in Berlin? Just hanging out back home on Kamui Island. Same old thing, you know. I don't. You couldn't have this new weapon if you were just sitting around the house all day. Forget about it, Kataro. You need to focus on being more careful. You're too important to get killed. I got you, Tepe. And you're too important to me. I don't have another brother. I was not made aware that our professor had such an interesting younger brother. I can't place it, but something about that kid grinds my gears. I feel we've had a run-in at another time and place. What do you mean you won't let me in? I am sorry, sir, but the auditorium is filled with 10,000 scientists from various nations, all of whom registered in advance. There is also a certain classified nature to the presentation. I'm Professor Takamiya's bodyguard, as well as his kid brother. He needs me inside there, lady! 
Oh, it's no matter of who you are. If your name is not on the list, I am not going to let you inside. Oh, you're a robot. Only robots stick that hard to the rules. Prove me wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> There's got to be another way inside. While the term cyborg was coined long ago, we are now seeing this as a reality. My theory shows that robots could be autonomous, but dependent and constructed of organic matter. This is a dynamic system, but a balanced one, operating on the same processes as humans, including redundant backups. In short, they have a will, just like you and me. These machines are living robots. They're true cyborgs. Living robots? They're alive? It's as if we've given human brains over to the robots. Unbelievable! Every single person who heard the professor's speech must be eliminated without exception. No one walks out of here alive, do you understand? They'll all be dead before we leave. I know that smell. They gassed the auditorium. <laughs> Kataro, where are you? This has to be the work of the Machine Empire. Only they would be capable of such an atrocity. Kataro! He completely ignored the Florian flock gas and walked right in. A bold move. How surprising. He must have military training to know how to avoid the deadly vapors. <laughs> and those eyes. I know I faced them somewhere before. No, it couldn't be him. Not a chance! I'm coming with you! Can't kill thousands of innocent people and get away with it on my watch! What is that thing? There's some kid on top of it! He's really booking it. It feels like we're moving at Mach 1 at least. Northwest, and we're over the Gobi Desert. I've read about the Gobi sandstorms, but this is the first time that I've been in one. I can't see a thing. this huge complex in the middle of the desert. These sandstorms must keep the whole place hidden year-round. Either that, or the sandstorms are manufactured by the Machine Empire as cover for their base. What's that? Professor, I do apologize for our drastic measures. 
You may refer to me as Major Aramis. What is this place? Where have you taken me? This place is called the Area of the Machine Empire. We brought you here, Professor, to ask if you would join us. Join you? Never! I would die before I'd help you! We'll do it in that order if we have to. I suggest you look at this first. robot with a living physical structure. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I wouldn't actually call this creature a mere robot. Simple words can't convey greatness. You see, you're gazing upon proof of the Machine Empire's scientific supremacy. It's called a beat. What does beat mean? Beat as in brain. This is how he functions. It is his core. All throughout history, robots always acted upon orders given by man. But a beat acts on its own, of its own volition. But that's mine. My theory. My life's work. I'm still designing it. Your work is oil-based. Our beats run on a very different fuel system. It's blood. They run on human blood. Blood? Correct. Once construction is complete, a beat will awaken once it's given human blood. The only catch so far is that the first person whose blood it receives becomes the one and only person to which the beat will give his allegiance. I... I figured it out. That freak who kidnapped Kotaro is the same guy from five years ago. I remember now. He had a name. They called him... They called you Metal Face! That's what they still call me. You managed to enter the area and somehow stay alive, huh? It seems you even know my name. Who are you, kid? Don't move! How does my Cyberland suit you? You managed to piggyback us all the way out here to the area where even the rats and roaches can't. I'd call that a significant threat. Now if it weren't for Madonna over here, you'd be in some very real danger. She keeps me in check. Madonna is truly the greatest beat. Tell me, where have you and I met, huh? Answer! You shouldn't stand still! <laughs> My messiah fist can cut through steel like paper, but he just stood there. A blast like that should have knocked him into next week. You don't know? I'm actually not a robot. I'm still a human being, only I've been improved in certain areas. Who did that to you? You've got a cybernetic body! Everything you see I owe to the Machine Empire. Their technology made my superhuman body possible. I have also been given the most beautiful weapon. Fear my cyber lance! Maniac, you're telling me you actually asked them to do this to you? <laughs> a human body can only last decades if care is taken, but use a machine to supplement its shortcomings and eternal life becomes quite real. Now, my life will span for generations after you and everyone you know are dead. This, this is the creed the Machine Empire believes in. What the hell are you going on about? 
It sounds like you've completely lost your mind! You just don't understand the beauty that is machine and man together. The harmony of blood routed through integrated circuits. You're so wrong! There's no harmony in stealing your strength off a machine! <laughs> My regards to your smash circuits! <laughs> Messiah! That messiah fist. I don't understand. Who was it? Where did you get that weapon? Shut up. It's my turn to ask the questions half and half. Now what did you do with him? Tell me where my brother is being held. Now! Or I'll turn the good side of your face to scrap metal. <laughs> You're too late. While you've been wasting your time out here with me. My superiors have been inside turning the professor into one of us. Uh, no, he'd never give in. It looks like I don't have to tell you, because you're going to die right here. Madonna, use your talents and crush his ribcage! Ah! of light years to get here. And the cool thing is, each of them had to use their own energy to do it. They couldn't borrow the power of another star. They don't rely on the strength of anything but themselves. <sighs> Tepe, I'm glad that you and I are the only family we'll ever have. <sighs> what we have to do is grow up and shine on our own, in our own ways. Then, no matter how far apart we are, our thoughts, like the lights from those stars, we'll always find a way to reach each other. We do this and we stay true to ourselves. How does that sound, Tepe? Uh, that sounds great. I'll shine bright all on my own, just like the stars in the sky. Forever! <laughs> Remember, I'm counting on you. Bye! You can count on me, Kotaro! What the hell is going on? Madonna? Life force detected at point seven kilometers. What's happening down there? Life force detected at point one kilometers directly below the boy. Blood spilled into the rubble? What is that? We discarded him as worthless scrap metal five years ago, but there he is. It's X! What? Uh, not him! The kid's blood revived you! And now you're his? The legendary beat X!
the legendary Beat X has been revived. And why? Because my blood dripped down into a pile of rubble and seeped into it. Why would something so evil, so much a part of the Machine Empire, want to have anything to do with me? It's a kind of loyalty that even he might not understand. On the next Beat X, the birth of the Sun Battler. Break on!